the looseness of it, the mistakes he's thrown in. 6-2 on the cards for me. That was well judged. Sullivan started off so well, breaks of 123 and 84 as he rattled into a 2 0 lead. Since, not so good. Well, thing is, though, it's not just about him. Day has to start capitalising as he did in frames three and four. OK, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. Rob Spencer just placing the pink closest to its own spot in a direct line with the black because the pink spot and indeed all of the other spots were occupied. Eight. Just the wrong side of the blue. It's there is a shot to come round two cushions with stun and right hand running side. The cue will zip round the cushions, which could take him into the bunch. And that's what he's played, all right. He didn't play the shot that was put up on the screen, but as you can see, he didn't exactly nail it. We might be getting to the crux over on the other table shortly. Sean Murphy, Mr. Red, left it hanging in the jaws of a top pocket, and Stephen Maguire has got a, a good chance to maybe okay, put it to bed. Gents, almost showtime we'll this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. <laughs> Not a bad shot just to avoid that pink and red ball on the left side. So easy to crash into those on the way back down the table on safety shots down the left channel. Still feels like a lot to play for, doesn't it, in these two frames based on the fact that Ryan Day has definitely played a part in this session. He needs to take something out of it more than a, just a couple of frames. OK, 
Okay, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. Explosion on a curveball. Look at that one. Cue ball in and out of ball can almost down to the the blue spot. We've seen a lot this morning. The one thing we haven't seen is a genuinely scrappy frame. And the way the Reds are going, this might be it. Yes, and of course the scrappy frames mean the same as all the others, don't they? You've just got to win them, and there's a way of doing so. And there's always be certain players are better at winning them than than others. It's not ever been Ronnie's real strong suit when things go scrappy, but of course he knows how to win those frames too. Doesn't necessarily play into his strengths. Okay, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. certainly opened up the balls there, goodness. And not in his best interest either. Now Ryan Day, we know, has got a lot of cue power. We saw it in his previous match on that long green that he powered in. I think this is pretty straight as well. So how does he get out of that right corner of the table? I know he's got the green fairly close to the pocket, but he needs to get the cue ball away from where it is. In knocking this red in. Oh. Nothing ambitious at all. OK, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees. Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. <laughs> One frame, and they probably wish that there was more than that to experience. Some may have tickets for tonight, and of course you'll have a... A great view of this evening, watching at home. 79. Because there's a lot of snooker to be played in this match. Two very attractive attacking players. Eighty-five. Yeah, Neil and I will be back for the the final session this evening, and we can't wait. Eighty-six. Double to right middle. Not quite. That was a very important frame for Ronnie O'Sullivan to win. He made a few mistakes, but at times he was his brilliant best. Okay, Almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. <laughs>
OK, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. <laughs> OK, ladies and gents, almost showtime this morning. Please welcome your referees, Desislava Bozilova and Tatiana Wollaston. <laughs> 